Alright. Enough of that, though. Hey, welcome back. Part 2 of Digimon World 2 Alternative Mod. Uh, part 2, I already said. Okay. I have to include that uh, that menu sound. I want you guys to be able to hear the... Once upon a time, I would make a, an intro to a video, but I don't do those anymore. Not that I can't, it's just one extra step in the recording or in the editing process, and I'm like, eh, I'm, I'm already very lazy, you see. So, it's very difficult for me. You may be thinking, Nick, why aren't you just like jumping right into it? Well, I'm glad you asked. First of all, you didn't ask. You you thought it, and then you before you typed it, I was here. Uh, I don't remember what I was doing. I recorded, <laughs> I recorded the other video two weeks ago, I don't remember where I'm. I know that I have two domains to visit, obviously, I just don't know which one. The, the game wanted me to go to one of them, but I don't remember which one it was. But uh, yeah, a couple people asked for more of this, and I'm not really doing any more, uh, or any Digimon projects at the moment. I got kind of burnt out on uh, Digimon World Redigitized Decoded. I kind of think Decoded just sucks. Um, let's see. Okay, but you didn't... You didn't tell me where to go. Uh, the first mission spectacular. I'm very confident you can handle clearing two squads of all... Alright, well, I'm just gonna pick one at random, though. Um, yeah, I, uh... My brain's lower. Oh yeah, I, I kind of think that the decoded version of Redigitized just sucks. Like yeah, they added more Digimon, which is cool. They added the uh, some extra stuff to the to the city, which is cool. But like, there's a bunch of like filler that they added basically of like go talk to this Digimon and like wait a couple days and then like the plot can progress. I'm just like I don't care. It's also like way too easy. Like way 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 too easy. I feel like I have God mode on in that game. Um, cause it's just like, it's so easy to boost your stats in that, it's just, uh, it's just a lot. I, I just, ugh. Um, so, I'll go back to it eventually, cause I know people were upset I never finished the first playthrough, but... <sighs> boy, the game's like pushing back hard. I, I just, I can't explain it. It's so much longer than Redigitized too, and that's not like a good thing. I don't know. We'll figure it out though. Hey, wow, my team is really, really in the beginning stages. Uh, someone did correctly point out that AP means attack power, which I obviously should have gotten before. Um, and it makes sense. But <laughs> I just, you know, just didn't didn't click. Uh, cool. Alright, so I know the marching fish to take them out. It means I don't need to uh, have the other two stress too much. I also, I didn't comment on it, but I do like the flowers in this area. It's pretty cute. Am I full of junk parts? A DNA up chip. I didn't put that back. Ugh. Come on, man. What are we doing here? Uh, you know what? Just I don't know. Give it, give it a go, man. Who cares? I don't. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not invested enough. That might be a rare item, but like, I don't. Whatever. Whatever, man. I don't know. I don't know what you want from me. This is what happens when I take a two-week break. Apathy. Apathy happens. No, it's fine. Uh, but yeah. So I will say, I don't know that this is going to be weekly. I'm going to keep doing it, but... As I mentioned before in the... Uh, when I, I think I mentioned this in part one. The difficulty in Digimon World 2 is that I can't really comment on the gameplay. <laughs> because, like, not like I can in other games. Uh, because nothing happens. Like, we're, we're in a battle. And I, I mean, that's fine. It's going well. One hit the battle. That's okay. But that's like two minutes right there. Like a minute right there. Um, and then we're going between dungeons. And like I, I commented that the flowers look nice, which is you know. Uh, but what what else? What else can I add here? <laughs> and I get it. The the onus is on me to provide co uh, commentary. I'm, I'm not blaming the audience or the game. It, it, it's on me. I just know my own limits, <laughs> or recently know my own limits. I should say. Also, how did I... Oh, because I used the DNA up chip. And I never went back for the, the chest, so I used it for no reason. Great. Good job, Nick. Um, what's over here? Betamon, Betamon. Okay. I can't tell if the game is easier. Very rarely do I play a mod and the game is easier. Besides, as I mentioned, uh, Decoded, which is not really a mod, but, you know, it's close enough. Uh, what else can I talk about? I have been... So into Elden Ring, which is not what my audience wants to hear. <laughs> because my audience comes here 
for turn-based 30-year-old RPGs. So hearing about an action RPG that came out last year is not... It's, it's just not in the cards. I'm sorry, guys. But I uh, I put Elden Ring down in uh, 2022. I was playing a little bit. I was getting I was getting sort of into it. I was making progress. I, um, I would explore on my own, and then once I, like, kind of got the lay of the land, I would look up the uh, interactive map and see which dungeons I missed and stuff like that. I'd go back and do those before progressing with, like, the main story. And uh, I had a grand old time with it. But I eventually put it down, and I have a good reason for putting it down. Um, I think, in my opinion. <laughs> which is, someone made Elden Ring look really uncool to me. Uh, so, I had to get my AC fixed. Um, and... The guy came in and he was like, "Oh yeah, 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 it shouldn't be too hard. I'll just do this, this, and this." And I was like, "All right, cool." But then, and but like, he was working near my work desk because my AC is like uh, in the corner. It's behind my two desks, so like I couldn't work because it was on like a Monday. So I was just like, "I'll just work with my phone." But then I was like, "There's not really much going on that I can do on my phone." So I, uh, <laughs> so I just load up Elden Ring, and the dude's like, "Oh, I've been super into this," and I was like, "Oh no." And I was just like, yeah, it's, you know, I'm just getting, I'm just sort of starting this. Because I, I got Elden Ring a little late. I, th I think I bought it like a month after it came out. Because, like, I'd heard everyone talking about it, and I was like, you know. But I wasn't, like, a day one buyer, because, like, before that I'd, I'd platinum Dark Souls, but that's about it. Like, I'd never really played any other one. Like, bounced off Sekiro, bounced off Bloodborne, bounced off Dark Souls 3. So I was like, you know, there's a good chance. I bounced off Demon Souls as well. The, uh, the original, not the remake. Um, so I was like, there's a good chance this just isn't for me, and that's fine. But after watching people play it a little bit and uh, a lot of people talking about it, I was like, you know what? I'll give it a shot. I'll give it the old uh, the old college try. Um, and I did, and I ended up liking it. But like, I was moving pretty slow through it because the game is can be difficult uh, or it can be easy depending on how you play it. Um, and uh, I was in the uh, Lake of Lu uh, Lake of Lutavia. Is that what it is? Uh, uh, Lucrezia, Lake of. Lake of Luigi, I think it's called. And, um, I was looking for the key to get into Ray Academy. And this isn't going to make sense for people who haven't played Elden Ring, but that's fine. I'm willing to leave you behind. But, uh, no, so I was trying to get into the Academy. And, uh, the dude who's watching is like, oh, yeah, I remember this part. And I was like, okay, cool, man. Nice. Yeah, it's cool. I like it. I, I'm, I'm being, like, I sound like I'm being an asshole, but I was being a lot more polite again, uh, to him. But it's just, like, with the power of hindsight, I can now be more mean, if that makes sense. But uh, I was like, yeah, yeah, this is, uh, this is, you know, you've had conversations before. And uh, <laughs> so I'm being so lazy about this. And uh, he, uh, but yeah, he was like, he was like doing that, but he would like stop working. He would like stop working to uh, to comment on it and like watch me play it. I'm like, dude, get the fuck out of here. Like, I've got shit to do today. And like, and uh, but, like, I'm just like, I don't know what to do in this situation. So, like, eventually I just put it down, and then, then naturally, because he had nothing to watch, he just, like, finished up the job. But I was like, since then, I, like, I play, picked it up again, and I was, like, wandering around a little bit, but I was like, I'm, I'm over it. Like, I don't want to play this anymore. That dude ruined it for me. So I put it down for about a year. Uh, I'm a big Funhouse fan, and uh, Funhouse started doing a Elden Ring co-op randomizer uh, playthrough. Which, uh, the reason I do so many randomizers on my channel is because I enjoy watching randomizers. So I'm like, there surely are other people out there who also like watching randomizers. So, uh, but yeah, so like, a sucker for a good randomizer. And I play enough of Elden Ring to like, you know, I, I know where some of the areas are. I know, I can tell the generic, like, general area where they are. Um, but like, I, I maybe not, I might not know, like, the air, like, you know, 100%, if that makes sense. But, uh, yeah, I was watching them play and I was like... Maybe it's, maybe it's time I give Elden Ring another shot. Make a new character or something. So I made a new character. Uh, that was three days ago. I'm now level 115. Uh, and I have since beat uh, Rey's Acad uh, Academy. Basically did the same thing I did the first time where I like swept the map. Uh, and then when I got to the Lake of uh, Luigi, I, uh, I didn't sweep it. I was just basically just going where I could find it. And I was trying to like find the maps and stuff. But uh, yeah. The... Uh, the big thing that I focused on this time was I wanted to try and get to the grinding spot earlier. And if you don't know about the grinding spot, let me tell you about the grinding spot. Uh, so, there's a, there's what's called the bird farm. And if you've played Elden Ring, you probably know what I'm talking about. Uh, or you might not have. But um, 
and I, and I debated making a video about it, but I was like, there's no fucking reason to make a video about this. There are thousands of videos on this made already. Elden Ring is a giant game. I just had the impulse. I was like, oh, I'm playing a game, and I here's an exploit. I don't know if it's that like well known. I'm like, no, it's very well known. Um, but basically, you you go to this very very late game area. You get to this one spot. And right next to a uh, to a site of grace, which is for those who play El Elden Ring or Souls game, uh, it's like a respawn point. But uh, every time you touch it, you gain your all your health and stuff back. But also the enemy gains their uh, or all the enemies respawn. So what what you can do is at next to this spot, you can uh, fire an arrow at a high level enemy uh, that's like down on a lower cliff, and then the enemy will walk off the cliff. <laughs> and when they walk off the cliff. <laughs> They die, as as with most things that walk off cliffs. Uh, and I think that's super funny. Uh, but uh, each time it dies, it gives like 11,000 souls. and Or, not souls, ruins, whatever you want to call them in this. Uh, it gives 11,000. And to give you like a barometer, hard error, like bosses will give you like 7,000 at where I am in the in the game. So I'm like, you know, maybe, uh, maybe it's worth it. <laughs> maybe it's... Maybe it's worth uh, giving it a little shot, or giving it a shot. S sorry, what I'm trying to see is, I don't know how many Digimon I can fit. I don't remember what the first, about three cannons, Ant Ram, four Digimon, okay. So I can catch at least one Digimon, okay. That's fine. So they can't leave their, uh, their little field, I don't think. Nice. I'll shoot another one. Why not? Just to make it easier for myself. There we go. All right, so we're gonna try and uh, get Beomon here. Or, I'm sorry, we're gonna try and get a uh, Tentamon here. Ba -bam, ba -bam, ba -bam, ba -bam. Um, but yeah, so I've uh, so I found the bird farm, and I went from like level 40 to a level 100 and like 15. Uh, <laughs> and I don't know, really know what to do with myself though. Because levels aren't, like, the most important thing in Elden Ring, which is kind of annoying. Uh, it's more about, uh, like, equipment and stuff. But to get equipment, you have to do higher level areas, so... I'm going to keep going through the game normally. I just I have a bit more of a cushion than I did before. Um, but the main reason is that I was trying to learn... Uh, I wanted Because I was already using, like, uh, a sword, a 2 its sword build. But I was like, you know, it'd be fun. It'd be fun to use some of the magic in this game. It's supposed to be really good. So I... Uh, I tried to spec into uh, uh, into intelligence, which is like 40 levels down the fucking drain, or like 36, whatever I used. Uh, but we'll see. I can still uh, respec my character once, so I might just like put all those extra stuff somewhere else, uh, or put all that extra some extra stuff somewhere else. It's a uh, but it's a good time. I'm enjoying Elden Ring. It's it's a lot. It's very easy to get sucked up into Elden Ring and just like not look up for like hours. So. I have to uh, make conscious efforts to not get sucked in completely, <laughs> and it's difficult. All right, this should uh, be simple enough. Hey, nice. We'll see if Tendamon wants to join. Wow, the uh, the jump from level four to five to five to six is crazy. <laughs> I needed twenty XP, or I'm sorry, I don't know. I'm looking at it backwards. Never mind. That's not that crazy. Hey, welcome to the team, friendo. I kind of wish there was an item that you like sent a send a Digimon back to the to the city, like at will. I feel like that's one thing that's kind of annoying in this game, is that you always have to have, like, an empty spot, and it's just, like, really annoying. Like, like I said, annoying. I don't really like not having the freedom. In the later levels, that would absolutely be a room that had a trap right in the middle. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna play more Elden Ring later. That's gonna be fun. Um... I'd like to beat it. It's the problem with Elden Ring is it's so dense. There's so much to do in that game, and I like never know where to start. But uh, I just beat the Academy, so I think next, I think I should be moving on to Volcano Manor. 
but I've never even like gotten there, so I have no idea how, what that entails. Um, but uh, I'm gonna try and do some of the dungeons around the Lake of Luigi first, just to just to try and uh, get some more items and stuff. I'm, I'm I don't know. I don't feel like I'm at a point yet where I can like really make myself broken. He says at level 115. If I take all that stuff out of intelligence and put it into like I don't know, uh, like health or uh, endurance, that might be a little bit better. But it's fine. All right, so I have Tenemon. I could swap out if I need to, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna need to. Betamon's taking some hits, and I have no health. I absolutely shouldn't have left without uh without health items. That was a a big miss on my part. Uh, what else? Oh, um. So I watch a uh, streamer, uh, Rainer Vez Jr., and watched him since the Achievement Hunter days. Um, he was playing a ROM hack for Pokemon Coliseum, the uh, the GameCube uh, Pokemon, and uh, I only got to see like a little bit of it. But he lost power when he was streaming yesterday, and lost like six hours of progress in the game, and also like lost the VOD, and just like at, basically just said like, "Hey, the the playthrough's done." And like as a streamer I, and YouTuber, despite vast levels of popularity difference, a gulf in between us, I do get that a lot. Like sometimes losing data and stuff like that, or having tech issues, it just like completely fucking blows the wind out of your sails. Like you're just like, I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. That's um. That's why I stopped doing Monster Rancher Four. I had two different discs that would like fail like 55 minutes into a video like about when I should be wrapping up like would be when they failed and I'm like I can't I can't play more it's too much it's too hard like I can't go back all that progress off screen and then it's just, it's just I can't Ugh. so I do get that that being said I am kind of bummed out I don't get to see more of that mod which means I might have to play it myself it's the uh, Grand Coliseum mod which makes uh, Coliseum a little harder, which is crazy because Coliseum is already one of like the base game, like harder Pokemon games. Um, so that'll be interesting to see. I feel like I should do, I really should do a Gale of Darkness playthrough first. I just don't know when to play that. Because I'm doing way too much Pokemon right now. Um, and I really need to finish some of them. You know that joke I made earlier in the video about me just like constantly doing like thousand hour RPGs? Yeah. It's uh it's hard. <laughs> Cause I wanna finish games, but then <laughs> but how do you finish games when uh how do you finish games like this? When they're when they're like literally like thirty part videos and it's like but I wanna play multiple different versions of I just say it's too much. It's it's hard. I try to limit myself to juggling like two of the same franchise at once. So, like, with Pokemon, like, I was doing Super Pokemon Eevee and Pokemon for a while, and then I dropped Pokemon to do Emerald Rising, but now I'm like, do I just focus on Emerald Rising till I'm done and just, like, go from there? Because, I don't know. I don't know. Really, really regretting not bringing health items, in case anyone was wondering. Really feeling it. I do have an extra, though, so that's helpful. Alright, that's helpful. And I mean, the good thing about this game is that it's not like a roguelike. Like, if I lose during the dungeon, I just can set back home. Like, it's fine. I keep my levels, I keep the items I found. Just, the only thing that sucks is when you use a bunch of items, then don't find more. Like, even if I leave now, I'm like, I'm coming back with a Tentum on. Like, you know, things are different. But we'll see. Oh, Betamon. It's weird that Betamon's aggressive in this. Pretty sure Betamon usually tries to run away. So this should, if it's two Betamon, I should level up uh, all three, actually, at the end of this fight. Assuming they all live. Uh, I thought about turning my AC off for this playthrough. Or not playthrough, for this uh, video. Because it's, like, it's not as hot as it's been. Uh, and then I went outside to grab my mail. And uh, it was very warm. <laughs> and very humid. And I was like, never mind. AC stays on. The AC that I can hear, and I know other people can hear, but like some people are like, there's no way you have AC on in videos. I've never heard it. I'm like, okay, well, I'm glad. I'm glad my microphone is doing its job, but also, yes, it's on. Alright, everyone's leveled up, which means they're all healed, thank god. Okay. 
I have to be careful about speed up. My, uh, my, my battery is not high enough for it yet. HP driver one. Ooh, that's good. That's what I need. I could probably beat the boss here. I don't know how deep this, uh, this area is. Alright, I don't need another Betamon. Alright, marching fishes. Oh, wait, so... Petite Thunder and... Uh, Electroshock both, like, target random enemies. That's kind of annoying. I feel like, in theory, that should mean they can't miss. But I don't think that's true. Okay. Well, the good news is Tentamon is reaping the benefits of this, uh, this floor. He's got increased stats because of it, so that's nice. Especially helps the newer Digimon try and level up. Oh... Uh, can't wait till we get those first Digivolutions. That's always hype. Watching the EP slowly. There we go. Boss floor? No. Well, soon, I guess. I've always wondered how it determines that. Is it truly random which floor you start, or which uh, room you started on a floor? I feel like they gave me a pretty big leg like, up there. Mac fix. Mac fix actually isn't terrible. I think Mac fix is for HP. Need another EP pack. I am running low on EP. I'm a little worried now. Maybe I shouldn't uh, try and explore this floor. But I have to. What if there's a new Digimon here? It could even be an Akamon. I think we should probably find data Digimon here somewhere, right? Because because uh, we found vaccine and virus. Yeah, it's just uh, HP. That's fine. I guess that means I can basically walk over this for free. Oh, that's so many. Oh, never mind. I refuse. So this is a treasure there, but it's not worth it. I can't make it. I need more, uh, more HP. I should just buy the new engine. Oh, great. And it was empty. Sick, dude. All right, well, we're now following uh, a new path here. No idea if this is the boss floor anymore. Fuck me, dude. Breaking my radar in 2023. Let's just uh, throw that up there. Does this feel like a boss floor? I don't. I don't know. All right, let's see. We got Tentamon and Biamon. Tentamon and Biamon. Okay. Uh. All right. Cool. Sick, dude. Ah. Uh, this sucks. I've made an error. Alright. Well, we're still on some plant floors. This should be good. Because Tentamon should hit pretty hard. Anyone who... Other than other Tentamon. Okay. Oh yeah, I guess water doesn't isn't as effective here either. So, uh, Gomon's kind of hit a little harder. Ooh, I don't want Tenemon to die. Okay. I didn't want to use this so soon, especially since he's about to level up. So I won't. Uh, <laughs> we're going to play Risky instead. Uh, and then Guard. I should have attacked. I regret it already. Yep. Fuck. I wouldn't have killed Biomon, but I would have maybe killed Tenemon. That sucks. That sucks. I'm gonna just autopilot back. I think I might do that actually. Maybe upgrade some of my stuff. I'm not feeling like a superstar right now. Maybe maybe even try the other plate now, I'll be fine. God, why couldn't this be one of those RPGs where they when you die they come back at one HP? Alright. Now I'd really like it if my team didn't die. Yeah, I gotta buy HP stuff. I don't know what else to upgrade. I only have so much money, too. Maybe I'll buy a new engine. Or maybe a better, like, box for, like, holding my Digimon. Or I could definitely use the next uh, next item box, because eight slots is not a lot. I'll have to find something to sell, though. I don't really know what to sell. <sighs> Yeah, alright. 
I think I might have to call this one a wash. Maybe. Yeah, I'm not gonna take the risk. I think that might be the final... We might be on the final floor, and I'm not really ready to test it. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Let's see what I got here. Tell me I'm, I left them in my server. No, I have no items. Perfect. That's much better. All right, well, we still have the HP driver, so that's not terrible. We have three toy cars, which is too many. Uh, and a CD player. Okay. And one MP disc. Um, yeah, I think my first order of business is going to be trying to upgrade some of my car stuff. My options are fairly limited with the amount of money I have. <coughs> Alright. Tell me all of this is, like, really cheap. Be a bro. Uh, some of this isn't too bad, actually. I can... Alright, so I actually can't buy the box yet. That sucks. Not even an option. I wonder if they've changed the progression on this stuff. <clears throat> I can buy the Lion Engine, though. I might spend the rest on uh, HP items. This game does freeze sometimes when it's like trying to load things. Oh my god, come on. Oh yeah, and the crab battery, I can only upgrade it so much. It's only upgraded twice. Alright. Tell me that this frame can't take that engine, and I'll tell you that you're a piece of shit and a liar. <laughs> Let's see. There it is. I guess I can sell the old en engine. That that's something, I guess. That's such an unnecessary step, by the way. <laughs> it's so stupid. Use a battery. Right, 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 right. I actually don't think the like setup of your car is that bad. I just think it could have been done better. Um, do I upgrade the crab? I am running out of EP a lot. I kind of think I should upgrade it. Yeah, four hundred. That's better. A little more sustainable. I know it was only a hundred to upgrade the engine again. Well, I probably should. Just rewind here before I exit the menu. There we go. Ooh, 950? Ugh. Alright, we'll get it to an even thousand. Because my brain doesn't work. Try and sell the engine, see what that's worth. And then, uh, I don't really want to sell anything else. But, I do acknowledge I'm lacking some, some things. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I could sell a toy car. I don't think I need two of them. I'll sell one. Alright, where do I buy the regular items from again? Not me having to quit on the second mission. To be fair, my Digimon are pretty, like, not leveled. I was gonna say under-leveled, but it doesn't feel right. I feel like they're just not leveled. I'm supposed to level them during this mission, so... I guess it makes sense. Uh, I could get a parts fix, but that's pretty expensive. Uh, just an HP disc, I guess? Let me, let me see. Actually, HP disc might work. Sometimes I feel like there's just one Digimon that gets hammered a lot, so... I don't want to use an HP driver. That was the whole reason I didn't use the HP driver before, is because I didn't want to have to heal the entire team. When two of them are at full health. Alright, we'll try this again, just because, uh... You know, I already started it. I might as well keep going with it. I'm a new man, with a different machine. <clears throat> but stronger Digimon. I mean, stronger being relative, of course. I question the strength of my Digimon. Just a little bit. One solitary Betamon. Nice. Cool. Alright. Yeah, we're not really at the point where I can make, like, Boko Bucks yet. I need more money. 65 uh, bits per battle is not... It's not gonna do it. Okay. I wonder who else I can recruit. 
I definitely want to keep some of my items because I think they mentioned dinosaurs and we haven't seen any. I'm gonna assume they're in the other domain. That's fine. I don't mind doing this one first. I was also worried that like they wanted these domains done in like a specific order, but I don't think that's the case. They seem pretty loosey goosey about them. Oh, there's an item there. Hold on. Rewind. MP disc. Yeah, it's fine. Probably won't use it, but I appreciate having it. Oh yeah, these guys are all stuck here. Uh, I could just go past them, but we'll do a battle. Or we'll do two battles. I gotta level up anyway. Also, I think I've just decided that I'd rather have Tentamon than Beamon, so that's why uh, Tentamon is still in the party. It's, I feel like it's actually not that bad to have Digimon at like staggered levels because uh, that means they level up kind of different at different times, which is a good thing because it means that they uh, they get their free heals at different times instead of all instead of going like a long time and then they like finally heal themselves all at once, which isn't really as uh, helpful. I don't know why I staggered that sentence. I didn't mean to, but here we are. All right, thank you. Need to get to level 11. Any level 11s, please? I'm also not just focused on finishing the, the dungeon. I don't really care about exploring it too much. I'm a different man. Okay, I was right. The fifth floor was the boss floor. I'm glad I, uh, I'm glad I went back. Or I'm glad, I should say I'm glad that I, uh, that I didn't continue. I was not ready to fight a boss. I'm like a little bit more ready right now, but not, still not totally ready. I'm not going to level up from these two fights. So we're just going to be a little bit jacked up. Ooh. Significant increase in uh, Gomon's attack there. That's nice. Okay, alright. Now they're starting to hit a little harder. I'll probably level up after the boss, but not here. Actually, Tentamon might level up here. I hope it's still in nature form of the boss, because it's actually carrying Tentamon right now. It's like the main reason he's doing so well. God, this Tentamon is very defensive. I feel like if you're going to grind levels here, uh, if you decided to, not that you have to or anything, um, I feel like it makes more sense to go after Beomon. I'm sorry, to go after uh, the Betamon groups. So I feel like they're a little easier to, to hurt. Nice, okay. Hey, another level up for Tentamon. Let's go. Didn't even need to use any uh, EP or anything. That's pretty nice. Oh, this is this the boss one floor? Roar, I'm hungry. Uh oh. I know him! Where did uh, that other snack that was lurking around go? Oh, what's that? A guard tamer? You look delicious. How about a small bite of you before I hunt the other one? Nuh-uh. You won't get anything today. Greymon, how could you? I wonder if he's by himself. He is not by himself. Uh, what, a, what a squad here. Was Black Dogamon in this game originally? I don't think he was. I don't think Black Dogamon is uh, previously Digimon. Did they add the, the black line? That's pretty cool. Um, I mean, who do I go for first? I don't think at the end of the day it really matters, but... Especially since my Digimon attack randomly, but... I'll give it my best shot. Yep. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, well that worked out. Paralyzed Breath. Isn't that Gazamon's attack? And Blaze Blast. Isn't that Tyranimon's attack? He said Mega Flame. Didn't he? Am I crazy? It sounded like he said Mega Flame. I'll have to pay attention to Greymon. Okay, that's nice. Oh my god, please. Hey, that's Gazamon's attack. This dude's a thief.
No, he's a spire breath. Okay. I suppose that's fair then. All right. I definitely need to use an HP item here. Oh, I never added it. Oh, cringe. Okay, that's fine. I'll use the driver. I'm not going to make the same mistake I made last time. Uh, I do want to keep trying to kill Black Agumon, but we'll see. Felt like kind of a waste, but I did save Tenemon, and he's hitting the hardest here, so... Maybe not the worst thing that's happened. Boy, I wish I could target. I mean, it's still raw damage, it just removes some of the uh, strategy. Black Pokemon is actually kind of tough. It was Vmon who was the weakest. Actually, that's not. We're not doing too bad here. They're whittling down Greymon. Okay. One more. Nice. Okay. Nice. Alright, so none of them are in immediate danger, so I can just go all out here. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. What a weird squad. I almost have the uh, the hacker's memory starters here. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. I didn't even think about that. Uh, yeah, not too bad. Got a good amount of bits there. Comparatively, I suppose. Error. I was close. Really glad my team leader told me to prepare. Now, another snack. I wonder what I was talking about. Maybe we should keep going? Yeah, we got the EP. We can keep going. Oh, I can't. Interesting. I wonder what's over there. I wonder what's there if you, uh... If you blast it open. That's a level 2 block, too. That's not even a 1. Oh, it's Angemon. Are you a guard teamer from Digital City? Yes, I am. My name is Nick. You're not a wild Digimon? My name is Angemon. No, I am not wild. I am the leader of the Meditation Dome. A group of, uh, a sort of resistance group, I suppose. Our goal is to suppress the wild instinct of Digimon through training and meditation. Swarging for supplies in the, uh, in the preserve when the native Digimon suddenly became wild. Quite frankly, I thought I was going to be eaten. I mean, are you equally as strong as Greymon? What are we doing here, Angemon? Why are you sucking so hard? Took care of the Greymon. Didn't you escape, or why didn't you escape here? I really didn't want it to notice me, so I just stayed here. Very surprised to know that I am not at all very strong in combat. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, that tracks for all the Angemon that I've seen. More of a support slash healer role. Thank you for showing up, Nick. Stop on the meditation, though. Uh, let me offer you my thanks. Is it 2,000 bits? Because I could definitely use that. If you could escape at any time, why the fuck didn't you just escape? It sounds more like he was just, like, paralyzed. Like he was just like, oh, what if he gets me? Alright, that's mission down, though. If we, uh, if we unlock the meditations, dome, I'll go visit that. And I'll make preparations for the next uh, one, and then we'll probably save. In the interest of time, probably could have done both if I didn't fail uh, the first time. Wee. I would like to get another HP driver if possible. So that was pretty good. Came in pretty good handy. Damn it. That sucks. Oh, I wish I'd known. That it wasn't going to be able available in shops, I wouldn't have wasted it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's go to the meditation dome, I guess. I don't know if it's unlocked right away. Also, I feel like next part I should try and endeavor to get my Digimon to level eleven so I can digivolve them. I don't know if they still cap out at like thirteen or fifteen or yeah, I think thirteen is what the limit is usually. Oh, hold on. I was half ignition. Meditation gnome is unlocked. Okay. This place has some cool Digimon. Well, the Angemon seems kind of weak, but that Dramojimon and the Oakmon look pretty tough. I wonder if I convince them to be my partners. Can you imagine? Be like, you know what would really help your training meditation? Fighting Digimon in perpetuity. Nick, glad to see you again. Thanks for saving me out there. Contact the city and told them the meditation was willing to cooperate for peace. Have all of us here, we'd like to offer you a gift. Please spend it wisely. Hey, nice. Even now, I faintly hear the call to attack the city, but I will resist it. My willpower has been honed for years of meditation. Surprisingly, uh, aged pretty well. Meditation's kind of pog. 
Sorry. I can't meditate. My I have racing thoughts. I can't meditate. Uh, but I do think uh, it's pretty cool for the people who it works for. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna disparage someone because they have a coping mechanism that works for them. Who cares? Uh, so Angemon finally contacted the city, huh? Told them to do it for ages now. It took them long enough. It's not like we don't already uh, get humans visiting us. No harm in a few more. Bah ha 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 ha. I always like when uh, they write bah ha ha or wah ha ha in, uh, in dialogue in these kind of games because it always feels so out of place. Where it's like, yeah, I told him you should invite the city. Bah ha 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 ha. Like you're exploding with laughter. And then there's the, the even better one, which is wah ha ha. Which is bahaha, but evil. Oh, another human? One just pestering me about being a partner or something like that. We well, meditate and nothing else, so go away. Yeah, I'll come back when you finish fucking digging the tunnel, you prick. I'll be back in like seven in game days, despite all the guides saying four. I'm not angry, you're angry. Shut up. I know what I'm talking about. I'm just, I'm just tired of waiting on him. Every Digimon with one playthrough I do, I'm just waiting for fucking Jermojimon. Get his fucking shit together. All right, let me make sure I transfer. Oh, I think he transferred from this mini too. That's fine. This doesn't take very long. I'll put one of the MP discs away. I think the odds of me needing both are kind of low. Okay. And nope. Hold on. We'll save here. Uh, thank you guys for watching part two. Uh, the time on these is going to be all over the place. Sometimes they'll be like 40 to 45 minutes. Sometimes it'll be an hour and a half. It really depends on if I get going or not. Uh, I'm going to try not to cap a video in the middle of a dungeon. That's going to be my main goal. But especially as we get further in, that that that, that goal gets loftier and loftier. Um, so probably going to be uh, some shorter videos in the beginning and then some longer ones for ever basically but yeah that's part two hope you guys enjoyed uh let me know in the comments if you want to see more of it I'm curious to see if the uh, the love for digimon world 2 dies out because uh i don't know what to tell you guys i'm kind of an expert in this and uh i i'm not convinced you guys want to watch the nick podcast <laughs> so let me know in the comments uh, like the video if you don't want to write a comment uh and i'll see you guys later okay bye bye see you in part three